guys welcome to Nichols retirement empire and it is time to say goodbye to an old friend but you know what that means get a new friend <laughs> just get you a new friend uh, I want to get a new grill but I'm gonna make a grill gonna make it out of concrete blocks and you'll, you'll see what I do uh, that's what happens when you watch YouTube you come up with these ideas you see things and you think I can do that so let's get the wheelbarrow and start moving some blocks okay so I picked up these blocks at Lowe's and I know I am a couple of blocks short already I figured I mean it took me about an hour to figure out how how I wanted to do this uh, I stood around I put stuff on the ground I tried to figure out how I was gonna make it and measure it I measured it and all that stuff and I still I know I forgot some things so uh, I'm gonna go with what I got see what I can put together make a trip back if I need to I'm going to put it on this concrete slab. I was going to put it uh, back there in that corner, but I think when the sun's going down in the evening, right here, I'm afraid I might get a, not get any shade right there. So I'm going to put it up here on this front corner, uh, right here. Okay, the idea is I put this piece of sheet metal on here, and then I'm going to build up the sides. Hopefully, that's going to be, I think that's going to be about the right height that I want. Just so you guys know, when uh, the Egyptians built the pyramids, uh, they didn't use any mortar, and everything just fit together perfect. Uh, you'll find places like that throughout the world where uh, they put these stones that were perfectly cut together, and uh, it just, you can't even fit a piece of paper between them. Even today, thousands of years later, unlike my grill, you will be able to fit paper between <laughs> It's just not precision. I can't get the precision work like the Egyptians got. I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't get the blocks that they made. Wish I could. Okay. I think I may have it figured out. I'll put some bricks like this. Then I can put my coals down here. Cook up here. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's uh, put this stuff up. Okay, Tammy, well, we don't have to. It'll be okay. It would have been nice. Tammy has a, Tammy the engineer has a better idea. Let's see. Let's 
You could probably cantilever those two. You really could. Easy. What I would do is I would uh, cantilever it. Put that, put, what you're going to have to do is put that one right in the center. Just. I don't know what cantilever means, Tammy. Put that one right in the center. So, what do y'all think? Is that better? Leave a comment below if you think Tammy's way is better. <laughs> Leave a comment below. <laughs> yeah, that's what people always say They'll on those videos. Go. Tell Tammy to on go those, in the house. On those videos, they Stay always the say, house. Leave a comment below. Well, they want you to comment so that they get more comments. So, leave a comment below. Just well, see, these don't fit exactly because they don't have mortar in between them. Uh, yeah. Typically, you'd have mortar in between these. Uh huh. Well, I explained to everybody earlier that the Egyptians built the whole pyramids without any mortar. Now we definitely have to go back to Home Depot. And Tammy's going with me. I mean, not Home Depot, Lowe's. We're going to Lowe's. Okay, we are going to implement Tammy's improvements. Oh, so while I was indoors, Tammy was out here making a few minor adjustments on her own. Okay. I like this. Yeah, it's nice. Sure. So we got a little ruffle look. Just a girl went. Look how nice that looks. No, they won't. They'll be fine. Sticking out like that. Yes, they'll be fine. Okay. Those are pretty. We got some little samples just because we knew they were about the depth of the wire. So that when he puts the block on, it'll clear it. And that way he can just slide the grill in and out. Because the block really won't be resting that much on the grate. I mean, it will be, but not a lot. It'll be resting mostly on the wood. Well, that's the part that's going to hold the charcoal. So. Yeah, that wood's far enough away. You're not going to have to worry about it catching on fire. And if it does, it does. What can happen? Yeah. Everything's concrete. All right, y'all. We figured out we got about $160 in this grill. And if you go buy a new charcoal grill, how much do they cost, Chris? At least a hundred. I mean, the cheap, cheap ones are a hundred. But I mean, about 150 bucks probably if you get a. And this is permanent. They didn't go nowhere. All he'll have to do is change out the grate and the plate at the bottom in a few years. The hawk hates me. Look. He does not like me and my red hair. He must think I'm a hawk. A red-headed hawk like him. Mm -hmm. All right, put those two flat ones up there first. I mean, I want some sort of edge, please. Will you hold this and let me experiment with something? Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, sometimes that hawk will swoop down at us. Right at our heads. Especially me. Especially Tammy. It's it really done it to me it. once. But it does it to Tammy Every regularly. Time I'm out here, he fusses. Regularly. It's okay for utensils, but not like for a pot. Yeah. Um, well, let me think. Okay, here is the final... Right here. Cover up the hole. 
Look at that hole. Amber? Does that look okay? Yeah. Here is the final product. As of now, the final design could change, possibly. So, we'll cook on it tonight, and I'll show you, we'll see how it does. It's getting near supper time. So I'm gonna get some coals going, and uh, this is about the time I would normally cook, so we got some shade right there, which is what I was hoping for. real dirty okay I was curious as to how hot it would feel and I can assure you I mean I can feel the heat radiating off that for sure I'm not as close to my uh, cooking surface as I was with that other grill in other words the coals were a lot closer to the grate uh, than that and that other grill but I have a feeling that is going to be plenty hot now, I've never used one of these little deals before so this is a lot of new stuff today so let's see how this turns out try to center it over the coals there and there are, it's a pretty good ways off of the uh, off of the coals so this is going to take some getting used to as to how fast I can cook things uh, I don't know another way right now to adjust the height of that uh, but like I said you know I'm feeling heat all up in here now and I'll have to get used to adjusting this fire as you can see I've been basting these with butter so of course you're gonna get some flare-ups you're gonna get some fire um, and you can see the top they're a little you know turning black a little bit so like I said it may be that I don't need to have the coals this hot it's just going to take a little bit of a learning curve here for me all right I think they're very close to being done it smells really good Let's see what it looks like over there yeah I'd say we're I'm losing some of my vegetables. I've never tried to, fit, you know, use one of these little basket things before, um, but that fish is starting to flake. You can see that uh, the vegetables have a char on them. Um, so, you know, what I'll do is once everything cools off, I'll come back and I will move this and this, you know, and these things, and then I'll, you know, just uh, take a little dustpan and clean out the ashes and stuff that's in there so I believe I believe this is ready I'm just gonna set it in here in this pan I got a little bit of butter left I'm gonna brush it on there all right guys we opened it backwards but I would say that looks pretty good. Pepper, the pepper smells so good. I was telling him when he was bringing it in, I could really smell the peppers. That one fell through, we'll just have to get okay. it. Okay. All right. It's done. It's good and done. Awesome. Is that trout? Uh, yeah. I believe so. It works. The grill works. So, now we just got to figure out how to clean it up and stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. New grill. Make you a grill. You can do it.
Tack du är din back 